Hello, and welcome back to Satellite 2021. My name is Jeffrey Hill, chair of the Satellite 2021 show. Thank you for joining us for this video. Uh, right now, I am joined by Todd Brown from ABL Technologies, a uh, antenna and terminal and repositioner technology company based in Asheville, uh, and one of our uh, uh, many vendors here at Satellite 2021. Todd, thank you so much for taking the time Thanks to be with us. Thanks for having me here, Jeff. Uh, you know, and terminal ground systems have been the hot topic here at Satellite uh, this year uh, for many years, but this year specifically as services are becoming multi-orbit, much more integrated. Um, so could you start off by just telling, for those of, for those who aren't familiar with ABL, just tell us what you're doing and what you have on display here at Satellite. Okay. Uh, ABL Technologies, like you said, we mm -hmm. make um, satellite and ter terminals, mm -hmm. uh, both stow and go for vehicular mount, mm -hmm. and then more comms on the pause, man pack, for like the DOD, anywhere from 60 centimeters all the way up to five meters. Um, and like I said, one of our main customers is the Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. And here at the show, we have a wide variety of terminals, um, but really DOD focused in that we have a 75 centimeter expandable to 9.8, a 2.4, that's a manual point, and then a 2.4 right. that's an auto acquire, and then a 1.35 uh, that's also a manual or auto acquire. Right. Now, what you said when you say configurable or, or expandable, that's a key word here because that's, I think, what makes you guys unique. That's a new capability. We talk about form factor for antennas, ground systems, and terminals all the time. Can you, can you explain to me, like, why did you decide to develop, develop a terminal with this type of capability? Yeah, as you, the, the service is probably the key to that explanation, okay. right? So when you're using a smaller 75 centimeter terminal, you can get a X throughput on, depending on the constellation of the band that you're mm -hmm. using. Uh, when you expand that to 9.8, of course, you can increase that throughput, which is right. really a big demand, especially in the Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. In today's world, you've already brought it up, new orbits, right. new throughput capabilities, and that expandability is what they're looking for, that new throughput capability. Yeah. So let's talk about that capability. Besides the products in the ABL booth, uh, what other product developments are taking place at ABL, including products for both Leo, uh, and Mio, NGSO, and, and Geo Orbit. Yeah. So we've traditionally been in the parabolic market, you know, the dish market. But we we at AVL understand that as these new constellations are coming out, we're going to have to evolve. So we are now working on an electronically steerable array in KA, um, and that was done through a CIBR or cooperative agreement with the Air Force. Mm -hmm. We're also understanding that. Not only do we have to track the geo orbits, but we have to track Leo and the Mio orbits, which means we're gonna, we are starting to develop a 2.4 and a 135 XY positioner to be able to do wow. all that, um, to be able to keep our products up with our customers' demands yeah. as these orbits change. Yeah. That's that's incredible. I mean, this is this is my 12th satellite show, and just the the developments that have been happening in the antenna and terminal uh, arena are incredible compared to what I was first learning about when I was coming into the industry. Um, how long have you been at, at AVL, Matt? Actually, I am the newest hire. Oh, uh, I just okay. left, yeah. Uh, I just left the government after 24 years of uh -huh. both service and being a, a, a government wow. civilian. Uh, and I was looking for somewhere, I, in the Navy I was a submariner, so I like small communities that are very close-knit, that, right. that have a good focus. Mm -hmm. In the government, I worked for SAW for 15 years. So again, very good at what they do, close-knit mm -hmm. group. And so when I was looking to leave the government, mm -hmm. I looked for, and, and to be honest with you, I only came to one company, which was ABL, and I was lucky enough to, that they wanted to join in a partnership so that yeah. I could help them. And, uh, and so that's why I ended up doing what I was doing and where so, I did it at. So what attracted you specifically to what ABL is doing? You know, really the owner and that I'd worked with him for almost 15 years. So Jim Oliver, you know, for 27 years has been making some of the best terminals in the industry. And while I was in the government, I had worked with ABL mm -hmm. um, and I knew their reputation. I knew that they're a privately owned company that if we say we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it. And we respond to, uh, at that time, what the customer's needs were. Yeah. And so when I was looking for a company, there was no real other logical choice for me. Well, congratulations on the new gig. Thanks. Good Thanks. to have you here in the, in the satellite community. Um, it's been 18 months since the last satellite show. We've all been in quarantine for quite a while. So coming now to satellite 2021, what have you heard from customers so far? Are, are customers excited about seeing the new technology developments, specifically from ABL, 
Uh, and have you received any requests for like new or different, different designs? Yeah, um, it's been great. I mean, coming back here and being able to interface with the customers again, uh -huh. in any industry, you need to have that feedback. You need yeah. to have that two-week conversation to make sure that you're meeting their demands. Mm -hmm. So it seems like what we put on the floor this year is really meeting what they've required. Right. But over the last few months, because we haven't had a satellite show, we've had to go out and do this one-on-one, -on -one, which is really difficult for a company, right? right? So satellite allows us and affords us that opportunity to have that interaction. So we've been pretty lucky on that, but we also haven't met with some customers and we are getting the new demands. Obviously, Leo, Mio, Geo, HDSs are the thing on everybody's mind right now and how can we deliver them the product that they're gonna need you know, for their customer right. set. So that's really what a lot of the discussions have been about. Well, I'm glad it's been productive for you in terms of catching up with your customer needs. Um, Todd, thank you so much for, for being with us. ADL uh, Technologies here at Satellite. Uh, and thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, check out some of our other videos here on the Via Satellite website for Satellite 2021. My name is Jeffrey Hill. Uh, enjoy the rest of your show and uh, stay tuned for more.